for about a month and a half, so uh, somebody else coming up. Oh, yeah? Nice. Yeah, I'm man. being joined by Steelix, it is, right? What's your handle, man? Uh, Goffinit. Goffinit. Oh, I remember you now. Yes, we, yeah, yeah. we, played, we, played, we played at New Roche. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Word. And I'll go. But they're just going right into it. We got Germ already uh, at 15%. I didn't even know we had zero on the other side. These are two familiar faces. To yes, me. for sure, for sure. I was letting the chat know these guys are really good. Definitely the top uh, top levels of their uh, characters. In the yeah, scenario. definitely. And they're both of them are beasts. Yeah, I don't for see sure. nobody doing what Jules is doing. Oh no, this is Germ. Or Germ. Oh my yeah. bad, my bad. Yeah, this is Germ. TTN Germ. <laughs> I just got excited because I was. Like, <laughs> I saw a third day on your hat or on oh, your, yeah. your jacket, and I was like, oh no way. Yeah. So this word association. Third day's Jules. Nonetheless, uh. Jerem right here. Going, th there we go with the combos. And that's the thing about Robin. Robin's aerials, they, they're like knockback gross, is perfect for them to do all the damage in the world. Oh my god, yeah. You so can at, get at low three fairs in anything. For sure. Like. Mm -hmm. At low percentages, you're getting two or three fairs in a row. And then at high percentages, you're just going to explode. Yeah. So it works well for Robin. Everyone called him aerial smash attacks last game, and that still pretty damn true. <laughs> Uh, keeping him at the ledge, seeing what he can get going here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's going to be Zero to None's biggest tool. The neutral B is very important for Zero to None to take advantage of. Yeah, it, it adds a whole level of a... Ooh, and that's such a smart Phantom placement. Arcfire couldn't be placed at the ledge, and now he's out of the book. Mm -hmm. But that neutral B is going to mix up. It's just one more layer of ledge mix-ups. Mm, and that Arc Thunder, I believe it was, could do away with that stock. Yeah. So fast, so good. Kind of looks like, uh, what is it, Kaboom from uh, Hero? Yeah, it, it looks like Kaboom, yeah. Yeah, those good aerials. I mean, good uh, special moves. Arc from Goron, it's probably the best for killing. Uh, setting up at the ledge once again. Yep. I like the thought. Doesn't quite catch with the up air. Yeah, a little late on the pull. Getting okay. a lot of mileage out of the Nair's Love. Mm -hmm. Makes a lot of sense. We're going to hear a lot of that in this, in this game. <laughs> And you can see uh, the, t the good tech coming from Zero to that, that jab going to cover the uh, spot dodge. Oh, I love the mix-up. Okay, and that's a good way to try and, like, shield poke. You kind of yeah. hit your opponent with a multi-hit, maybe a multi-hit up high. Then you drop low, try and poke it from the bottom. When he jumps into the side B, yeah. that's going to be a little bit earlier stock than he wanted. Yep, and that, uh, what is that, Din's Fire? Is is a weird is a weird move because the surrounding hitboxes are really really weak. You can survive yeah. to like 180 uh, getting get that hit sweet by that. Spot. But the sweet spot will kill you at like 90. You just yeah. explode completely if you yeah, get talk hit about by moves that. that look like a boom <gasps> and function like a boom. Uh -huh. Wow! He just misses the um uh, the fair after that arc fire. Nice. Zero not playing with incredible matchup knowledge. From the ledge here. Oh. <laughs> he I mean, he didn't need it. Yeah. No, but he was being so smart about it. Like, <laughs> he didn't need the dare, but why not? That was, and that was a really good setup. He kind of used the, uh, he charged the knight and kind of fell off stage. I'm not sure if he did that on purpose or not. <laughs> yeah. But as soon as the knight was charged up, he immediately mashed Nutri B or buffered Nutri B so that he can get the, uh, the, the iframes and the hitbox out which killed him. So. There's so many hitboxes on that move, it's impossible yeah. to figure out what exactly, For when sure. you have to tech. For sure. Especially on a stage with as weird of an underbelly as mm -hmm. Pokemon Stadium. Yeah, you almost, you like disappear. <laughs> yeah, you're gone. Like, it's it's like having to pay attention to the margins. Uh -huh. Like, you, you can't see yourself at all. Definitely. At that point, it's kind of just like, you just got to uh, time it. Like, you hear, the hit, you hear yourself uh, getting hit, and then you just got to... YOLO, uh, <laughs> YOLO <Yeah>. tech it. <laughs> Nonetheless, uh, Germ is opting to go to Battlefield. And I like this pick. I like Battlefield for uh, characters who have a lot of projectiles because they can kind of sit under one of the side platforms and your approach is kind of, it becomes very linear because you can't, you can't, you can't like go through the platform with a hitbox. You know what yeah. I mean? You'd have to land on the platform or go straight through the platform yeah, to a lot be of able to dodge your hitbox. A lot of characters will rely on like full hopping over everything Robin's got going yep. uh, for, her. but you can't do that as easily if you got a, a platform like uh, one of the lower level ones sitting for right sure. above you. For Especially sure. when you want to set up shop uh, when someone's at the ledge. Like Arcfire is going to be so much more potent here than it would be on another stage. Mm. And we're seeing it now. Like Zelda, Zero to Nine is at a lot higher percent than Germ. 
Absolutely. And you can see he's having a he's having a lot of trouble just trying to get in. Ooh, and you do not want to get hit with that move. Yeah, your shield is gone for a solid couple of seconds. For sure. That. And the thing is, you're stuck in it. So now there's a mix-up coming. <laughs> you got Robin yeah, running at you. and you can poke. Yep. You got a Robin running at you. Now if you let go of shield, you're going to get popped up. You're going to get hit by a move, or you get grabbed, or you get Nosferatu. And now you're <laughs> giving him some help. Doing the beefy up B to get back. Doesn't get the hitbox to drag him off the opposite side of the stage, but definitely gets him backstage control. Yep. Ooh, a dash Very attack almost dash doing it. With rage, that's terrifying. That's insane. It and he died oh, for low. it. Yes, the fear. That dash attack almost killed him because yeah. it, it looked like he went onto the stage and tried to pull back, so he got caught DIing out. But then he scared him again. Oh, no DI? You got to DI that back. Oh, yeah. yeah, if you don't know the Zelda matchup, down throw, you always have to DI that, that back or you're taking it up here. Hey, nice Nosferatu. Gonna condition him to sit in shield and get some damage and some uh, health out of that. Proper call out to wait on the neutral B, but just a little late on the execution. We seal out the stock with back air. Yes, so strong. Yeah. Anywhere on the stage, man. You don't even have to worry about it. For sure. All right. And Jerem not out of this one. Only 56% on him. Oh, uh, that's very easy. In the beginning of the match, he almost put 100% on yeah. uh, zero to none without getting touched. Yeah, or Robin is taking 12%. So. Damage powerhouse. And as they say, that was probably like 40 damage out of that whole conversion. I feel like he could have kind of like jumped up to that platform, reset, and got another art fire. I've mm -hmm. seen Jewel do yeah. that before. It's hard when you're directly, when you put some on like point blank on someone, sometimes uh -huh. you can't get there fast enough. If it hits oh, them, like, okay. I if see you drop it on their forehead, uh -huh. like that's hard, a hard place to hit. And you're like right next to them. Are they going to take that? Uh that stock, and oh, completely made a yep. comeback. He, he's actually at lower percentage <laughs> was, than he was when we first started talking about him. And you don't even comeback. notice it, man. There's so few interactions that you're like, oh, that's right. This is like Magic Bowser. <laughs> oh, but you can't be whipping. <laughs> that's the exact wrong time to yeah. be whipping a grab. It looked like he wanted to dash grab, and he got like a like a two-step grab, <laughs> and it was too short. Three aerials, and he's already at much higher percent. Mm -hmm. I mean, when your aerials do 14% yeah, per aerial. He's gotten hit by five of those aerials. Oh that my is so God. close to killing. Yeah. And the, I love what they did with the, the dash, dash attack. Hitbox. God, man, that move is like, that should have a thwack animation. <laughs> like, you disappear. And I was just about to talk about yeah. that. The Vaporize. An, the animation and the um, the sound effect that goes with those hitboxes. That's the and best that move. sound. So good, That's man. such a good sound, man. That's like. So good. Electric Roy forward tilt, <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's like it It sounds like all the bones in your body are just, like, crushing, like, every time you get hit. It gave me, like, a – I was solo Robin main last game. It gave me, like – I had a, a dopamine ad addiction to landing checkmate because oh, yeah. you were just, like, boom. Oh, yeah. And then it gave you – Yeah. And you're like, yeah, For man. sure. It doesn't make it any better that there's, like, a like animation – uh, a cutscene animation when you're about to die. Yeah. So now you know, listen, you just got hit right here. And, <laughs> and you're going to die. <laughs> All right, so what do we see? All right, so they're going to Smashville. Yeah. We got a Yoshi's Island, Yoshi Story um, band, and I, a Lilac band. I agree with the Lilac band 100%. Um, Yoshi's, I know less about, but I've had a hard time in this matchup on Lilac. The Smashville, I feel like, is pretty neutral. Okay. Uh, they both like to set up stuff, and they both benefit from having that platform. Just When they have center stage, they can kind of run with it. They're like, yeah, I've, I got the house. I, I captured the base. Yep. And I see, I, I think he's not going for the second arc fire uh, confirms, potentially because uh, sometimes just randomly, you know that Zero to None is just mashing neutral bait. And yes. sometimes it's just the conversion's gone. You could have yes. gotten up smash. The conversion's gone now. Okay, just gonna roll out of that, and that's the best thing you can do. If you shield the arc fire and it lands on the top of your shield, you have to roll out yeah. of there. Don't try and wait it out or punish it. Like, just get out. Back here, taking it so early and only taking fifteen percent. Yeah, man, He's looking a lot like the last game. But the last game, he allowed Zero to Nut to make a slight comeback oh. and then got gimped for it. <laughs> that reflected like fifty damage. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, arc thought. Oh my. This is. If he this is bad for my blood pressure, man. <laughs> if he fared instead of like down, like he, he down, I, it looked like he down smashed just now. Got hit with the weak hitbox and it shield poke. If he fared, he might have cracked his oh, shield. Oh yeah, totally. 
So that might not have been optimal. Yeah. He's going to get the stock They're back. Though. Yeah, they're, they're <laughs> back. That was a 17%. That was essentially a zero to death, pretty much. Yo, he just gave it right back to him. Listen, you hit me for about 15, 17%. Uh, I'll do the same to you. Okay. Jab going to cover all those options. They're going to put him off stage. I'll probably just stay in the middle of the stage. I like it, though. Bobbin is very comfortable staying right there, throwing the projectiles. Oh, excellent Ooh. conversion. Good conversion. <laughs> <laughs> um, Zero Nun's been pushing a little bit, but just like, I'm going to short off into your shield uh -huh. and neutral B as an approach coverage option. And that's been working for a little while. Germ's finally catching on to it. Mm -hmm. It's just like, no, I'm going to step back and then punch you with a fair or like plant a fat arc fire right on your forehead. Ooh, that was dangerous. Barely dodging. Nice. And I was just getting ready to say Zero Nun doing a much better job of using Phantom uh, this game than he did the last game. It almost looked like uh, Germ completely nullified the Phantom for a game two. Yeah. But this game, Zero Nun really using it to his advantage. And that uh, arc fire to up smash is going to take the stock. We're on a last stock situation yeah, in the last game. Game He's three. He's getting away with so many arc fires. Yeah. I'm surprised in this matchup in particular. He's mixing up really, really well when yeah. he does it. People are really afraid of that, man. And look at that. Two fairs. Two fairs is at 26. Okay. He's going to opt to reset the neutral now. And you can see he's throwing out the projectiles, doing exactly what uh, he needs to do to keep Zero to None out. And then he's trying to stuff out his jump. Because as soon as you see somebody throwing linear projectiles at you like that, what are you going to do? Jump. Yeah. Okay. Nice. I like the rollback. I like the rollback. Okay. Germ, if you want to come over to this side of the stage, I'm just going to go right to the <laughs> other side where I'm comfortable. And I like that from Germ. A lot of other players will kind of try and fight in that situation. No. Ooh, gets on the back side of him. You want to use Robin where Robin is comfortable. And if that's where Robin is comfortable, put yourself where you're comfortable. Yeah. You don't want to be point blank on the Oh, damn Gets the grab out of the but That's hard to connect nowadays. Yeah. That was nice. Okay. Another grab. Going to put Zero to None off the stage. Okay. This is a good situation for, uh, for Germ. Okay. Oh, dangerous. He's got no uh, 11 swords. This is going to be a safe window that Zero to None is going to want to take advantage of, but a lot of time is going to be taken up by that downbeat. For sure. And you can see Zero to None is very scared of yeah. the aerials, so he's sitting in shield. 11 so, back on so much so that he showed him the... Oh, and it pokes. That's not going to kill. Okay. He nared instead of fairing. I guess uh, that's going to be it. Yep, for sure. Yeah, Zero to None not happy about that. Yeah, man. I think he took all three stocks with arc fire yeah. to something. Arc fire to forward air, arc fire to up smash. Mm -hmm. Arc fire conversion. He was getting away with so many of them. Like, I feel like Zero to None was just letting that happen a lot. Like he was uh he was scared with his usage of neutral B. Uh-huh. And he was using it in like really tactical ways, but you could be belligerent with that move. Mm -hmm. And he was being <laughs> a, he was being a little bit too like, you know. Yeah, he definitely he had was too scared. many wrinkles in his brain, man. Mm -hmm. You got to go smooth <laughs> yeah. on that.